Hi everyone, let's solve this algebraic equation. We want to find the value of x. Solution. Our question implies So from our question here we want to simplify the left hand side first so at this stage we use this identity Using this identity, it implies that we interchange the power of this into this. So we apply the same thing to the left hand side of this expression. So we move these two out and this x in. So we have So we what we do now is to set 2 to the power of x equal to a. Then we replace a with where we have 2 to the power of x. Let's move 39 to the left hand side. Now let's simplify this 39 as So let's open the brackets So let's simplify 27 and 9 as I will simplify this. So now let's collect the like times based on the exponent. So, having done this, what we now need is to, is to consider this identity. and this identity as well so this identity implies that if we have this expression to the power of 3 we are going to expand it in this form so we express this term in this form and this term as well we express it in this form then we have the next step to be
So from here, we factor out a minus 3, which is common to both terms. So now let's simplify what we have here. Three a plus a we have a square plus four a nine plus three plus one. We give us thirteen. Now from here we have this part which is equal to a minus 3 which is equal to 0 so the first value of a over here will now be a to be equal to 3 now from this quadratic expression Considering the general form of quadratic equation, so we can compare a with one, b with four, and c to be thirteen. So to solve this. We first determine the discriminant to know whether we are going to have a real solution or a non-real solution. So let's check for the discriminant first. Discriminant D is equal to B square minus 4AC. So let's substitute this value into discriminant. So the discriminant will give us 16, multiply this together, we have 52, and this is equal to minus 36. So since the, dis since the discriminant give us a negative value, it means that there will be no real solution. So what we now do is to stick to our value of a which is 3. So a will now be equal to 3. Since a is equal to 3, we recall We recall that 2 to the power of x is equal to a. So this implies that 2 to the power of x is equal to 3. So we take the log of both of this side of expression. So we bring down this to the exponent. Let's divide both sides by log 2. Now let's simplify this as. So this implies our value of x. So now let's verify this value. We check for this value of x whether it is correct.
let's substitute this value let's simplify this let's simplify this left hand side first Now let's substitute the value of x. Now Let's bring these two to the exponent. And let's bring these three to the exponent. And using this identity, we use it to simplify the left hand side. And we arrive at this. Then we re then we simplify this so then we have 3 plus 3 to the power of 2 plus 3 to the power of 3 equal to 39 so if we had this together we have 3 plus 9 plus 27 so that give us that give us 39 equal to 39 so the left hand side is equal to the right hand side thanks for watching hope you like this one like share and subscribe meet in another interesting lesson.